All right, we're going to talk about dissecting the prompts. Whenever you're given a writing prompt, whether it be for the FSA or in class, you should always go to the prompt first to know what you're reading about before you ever do anything else. Don't start reading the articles or anything. You need to find the prompt. So let's get started. Before we can dissect the prompt, we need to remember that there are two types of writing. We have informative and we have argumentative. Informative writing is just explaining. There's no arguing, there's no side choice, there's no trying to convince somebody that you're right. It is merely just being a reporter. You are just giving information. And so whenever you're given a prompt, and you read all the way through it, you're going to get to the command sentence, write an essay, and so here are the key words that you are looking for. You are looking for explain, or inform, or state, or discuss. If you see those words, then you should know Ding, 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 this is informative. I am just merely given information. Then we have argumentative. Argumentative writing in elementary school was what they called opinion writing. But we're not in elementary school anymore. We are in middle school. We are kicking it up a notch. You're more mature than that now. And so that is why we call it argumentative because it's not about how you feel. It's not about what you think. It's not about your opinion exactly. It's about what you can prove after choosing a side. So argumentative means that you are choosing a side, whether you're for or against, whatever the prompt may be, and then you argue so that everybody else would join your side. You want everyone on your side of your argument. And the keywords you're looking for would be write an essay to choose a position, choose a side, to argue, those are keywords going to let you know that that is argumentative writing. So let's do some practice. I have two prompts. We're going to read them together and I'm going to show you step by step what you need to be able to do when you're given a writing prompt. Let me get my highlighter ready to go. Okay. Technology has become vital in our modern society. It acts as both a source for knowledge and for enjoyment. Think about technology's role in connection with education. Does it help or hinder? Now write an essay stating your position of the role technology plays in education. When you're given a writing prompt, a lot of times they're giving you lots of information to kind of get your wheels turning so that you can be thinking about the topic that they are presenting to you. But the prompt sentence does not happen until you get to the end of the writing prompt. It's going to start with the command, write an essay. You're looking for those words every time, and 99.999% of the time, guys, it is the very last sentence of the writing prompt that's been given to you. Don't get hung up on all that other stuff. This is where your focus needs to be. So our writing prompt here is just write an essay stating your position of the role technology plays in education. Now that I've underlined my prompt sentence, that's the first step. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to find my key word. In this, write an essay stating your position. Oh, there's my key word, position. Now, once I know what my key word is, I now know what type of writing my focus is going to be. And what is that? When it says state your position, what type of writing is that? Right. It is argumentative. So I'm going to put an A there to represent argumentative. So when you are given a prompt, you have these steps. Step one, read the whole prompt. Step two, find the prompt sentence, which is the bottom line of the prompt most of the time. Step three, underline it. Step four, find the keyword and circle it. 
Step five, put down what type of writing style it is. Let's try one more. The program Books Through Bars exists to provide reading material to people locked up in jail. Inmates are able to request books and have them mailed directly to them. Write an essay to explain how Books Through Bars has impacted the lives of prisoners. Okay, I've read my prompt. I did step one. Step two, find my prompt sentence. I go to the last sentence. Well, there's write and essay. So that is my prompt sentence. So step two, find it. Step three, underline it. Step four, find the keyword. Write an essay to explain. There's my keyword. Oh, that's information. So then I put my I for informative. And now I'm ready to go create my graphic organizer and start reading my articles. It is very important that you read the prompt first so that you know what your focus is on so that you can plan better and be more organized with your writing. Now we're going to do some practice. So continue through Schoology to complete those assignments.